Hi friends, my name is Brittany from Brittany Loves Reading and for today I'm going to do a reaction and TBR. Next month in July, my friend Margaret from The Word Nerd is hosting a readathon called The Mid-Year Scramble. I will link everything down below. But with that, we need to focus on one of our goals or as many goals as we want to focus on that we said we were going to focus on at the beginning of the year. I let my patrons choose between three of my goal lists that I made back in January. I let them choose between my buzzword, my 12 and 12, or my 24 and 24. Those were the three videos that I put out with basically TBRs that I wanted to get to by the end of the year. And to be honest, I don't know how I'm doing in any of those. I'm sure I've read some of the books, but as the months have gone on, I've definitely lost focus, which is exactly why Margaret does this readathon to help us get our focus back on those goals. So I am going to actually react to the one that they chose because to be honest, I don't remember what's on this list. We'll see how many I've read. Hopefully I have read some. And then I'm going to take what I haven't read and make a TBR with the prompts that Margaret has provided along with these books. There are multiple ways to play this. I am going to do like the prompt tree, the prompt path, whatever specifically that's called. But there's also like a bingo board. There's a couple of different ways you can play this. That's just the one that I'm going to be filling with the books that I have not read from this video. So this is my 12 friends recommend 12 books every year on Instagram. I post a request for people to recommend me 12 books. And in theory, I read my friends recommendations. Have I done that this year? I don't think I've made as much progress on this. There's one that I know that is on here that I know that I've read. Other than that, I don't know. I really hope I've read more than one. I honestly don't know. So let's, let's look at it. Let's see what's going on. Do you know what's really funny to me is looking at this video, there's Christmas decorations behind me and right now it's 40 degrees in Canada. Canada should never be 40 degrees. And I'm looking at me with Christmas decorations. I want to be in the place that she was, where it was, you know, cold because it's hot here and I'm done with the 40 degree heat. Canadian homes were never meant for 40 degree heat. I want to be her. Anyway, that's my first reaction is that I want to be the girl that was in January in the video. So let's see what's on this list. <laughs> on this list is The Mostly True Story of Tanner and Louise by Colleen Oakley. I'm sorry, Alicia. I have not read this. I don't even own this book. So if I do end up putting this on the TBR, I'll have to acquire a copy, which is totally fine. I think my library has it. I was not surprised when Danny from Danny Dabbles recommended this book to me. We have been chatting about it for a while and kind of knowing that I should probably read this book. And that is Thornhenge by T. Kingfisher. This is kind of a fairy tale. The so that is the one that I knew I had read. I knew that I had read Thornhenge by T. Kingfisher. I knew Danny had put this on this list. So this may be the only one that I've read, but I knew that I had read this one. Is it the shortest one on this list? Probably but that's irrelevant. I liked it. I gave it four stars. Neva from Reading with Neva definitely did me a solid with this next book and put on Long Live the Pumpkin Queen by Shay Earnshaw. I love Shane Earnshaw, so I'm excited to read this book. So I have not read this. I love Shane Earnshaw, but I am definitely holding this for the spooky season. So even though I have not read this, and technically, yes, I have not read this, it's not going to be an option for this mid-year scramble TBR because it's for fall. I need to read that during spooky season. Then my dear friend Rainy from Rainy Blue Reads put on, I believe what will be her best book of the year or very highly listed up there. And that is Serpent in the Wings of Night by Carissa Broadband. I have read Serpent in the Wings of Night. I actually forgot this was on this list. I have read this. I did not love this. I didn't hate it. Didn't love it. 3.5 stars. We've talked about this many a time because it is a well- loved book. So I've discussed it multiple times since I've read it. But I did really like the novella and I just bought the sequel to this book on an Audible sale. It was on Audible's sale recently and since it's an Audible original I grabbed it. So I am ready to dive in to the next book at some point but this one has been read. Is it bad that I've only read two and I'm already feeling like I'm doing a lot better than I thought? Like, I feel like I'm celebrating too quickly. Brie from Four Paws in a Books has put on this list Ashes in the Sun by Django Wexler. This is a book that Brie, I have not read Ashes in the Sun, but it is behind me. I think Brie sent it to me after I put it on this list. I'm pretty sure. I think it was my Christmas present from Brie. So I really do need to get around to it. It was. 
it was my Christmas present from Brie. So I do have this and this would be a really good option for mid-year scramble, but it is a very chunky option. But I'm gonna put it up there and this might make it on the TBR when I figure that out at the end of this video. Kristen, one of my friends on Instagram, put on Darling Girl by Liz Mikowski. This is obviously a Peter Pan re- I have not read this, but a Peter Pan retelling, I'm down for it. I'm happy to do so. I forgot this was on here as well, but I love a retelling. So this is definitely a possibility for the TBR. I, again, don't own a copy. That'll be pretty normal with these books, but I can get a copy from my library, from Kindle, or even purchase one if I wanted. So that's okay. Jean, another one of my friends and wonderful subscribers that I've gotten to know throughout this year, put on The Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Booley. This one I'm a little bit embarrassed that I have not read because I have borrowed it from the library not once, but twice. And then I've had to return it because I didn't get to it in the time that I was allowed to have the book. So I've had intention of reading this book multiple times and for various reasons, I just don't get to it. So I think this needs to be a priority for this TBR and actually get it from the library and actually read it this time. Sasha from Sasha Reads gave me praise by Sarah Kate. This is the first book in the Salacious Players Club. It's, I forgot I had smutty books on here. I haven't read this yet either. And I could use a smutty book. I could use one on my TBR. I've been reading a lot of chunky books lately. If you've been watching me for Tar, all my books have been so chunky, like five, 600 pages. I've been reading a lot of chunky books and I could use a fast, quick, smutty romance. Megan, another one of my Instagram friends, put on Dragon Bound by Tia Harris. This looks like it's a dragon shifter. I have not read this. No, I have not. I do not have a copy of this, but again, I could get one if it works for Mid-Year Scramble. So definitely a possibility as well. Eva from Pretty Purple Polka Dots gave me Strange Sally Diamond by Liv Nugent. This one I knew was on here. This one I knew was on here. I knew this one was coming because I recently just purchased the book so that I could read it for this challenge. This one I remembered. It is not down here. I would have to go upstairs to get it. So I'm not going to unless it ends up on the TBR, but I did know this was on here and I knew it was gonna be not read, but I bought it with intentions to read it. So do I get any points for that? Brooklyn from Brooklyn Reads put on Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir on this list. If I'm gonna be real honest with this one, this one makes me nervous. I have wanted to read more sci-fi this year and I've really done that. I think I'm doing really well with that goal in particular, especially being on Team Sci-Fi. I read a lot leading up to the Amazing Readathon so that I could give some sci-fi host favorites. I have read a lot more sci-fi this year, but The Martian, I did not love. I DNF'd it. So I'm very hesitant to go into Project Hail Mary because I think it's gonna be similar to The Martian. I don't know if I'm actually gonna get to this this year. If I get through the other 11 books, then maybe I will tackle this, but this one, I'm not sure if I really wanna dive into Andy Weir this year. I put it on the list in theory, thinking I would want to, but now six months later, I don't think I want to do Andy Weir. I'm sorry, Brooklyn. Last but not least, I have The Raven Boys on here, which was put on here by Julie from, I forgot this was on here. This has a story. Julie put this on here. Julie did want to do a reread. That is all in this original video. Julie did do a reread and asked me to come on Sprints to read it together. And I did that. And unfortunately, I ended up DNFing The Raven Boys. It really did not work for me, which is so surprising because Julie and I usually line up very, very closely. But in this case, it just didn't. I did not like this book and I have DNF'd it. So I'm going to count this one as done for the challenge because it's as done as it's going to be. So I ended up doing three out of 12, not quite a passing grade by any standards. So I am going to turn off the camera for just a second, figure out what ones of these work for the, you know, challenge tree that I'm doing for Mid-Year Scramble, and I'll come back with my TBR in a few minutes. So I will be right back. Okay, so I have my TBR figured out and it's not too big. I'm pretty happy with the size that I'm doing. I didn't want to go too over the top because obviously I'm not going to be able to read the rest of these 12 books all in one month. So I needed it to be realistic. So let's look at the tree and see how I'm filling it. So here is the Mid-Year Scramble tree. And I'm not going to keep this up on screen because I'm going to show you the books that I'm going to be using. But this is the tree and I'm going to be doing 
the pass over to the right. So obviously everyone starts with the same prompt of shortest book. I was a bit nervous that the shortest book was Long Live the Pumpkin Queen, but it's not, thankfully because I don't want to read that right now. I want to hold that for fall. The shortest book on this TBR actually is The Strange Sally Diamond by Liz Nugent. This is just over 300 pages, so it is the shortest book on this TBR. This is also my newest purchase, which is one of the next prompts. For the next prompt, I would have to choose between summer release and newest purchase, so I am going to follow this and go newest purchase and double up with this book filling both prompts with the one book. We are allowed to double up because Margaret is lovely and lets us do that. So I am going to use this book to fill both of those prompts. So after newest purchase, we had to make a choice between the most intimidating read and something on a previous TBR. I've decided to go with most intimidating and put on a chunky one, especially since the book before it is small. And we have Ashes of the Sun by Django Wexler. I am finally going to read this in theory because as much as I would love to say that these TBRs all get read, sometimes I have to make arrangements, things happen, and I'm also away an entire week in July. Will I read during that week? Maybe. So this might be a good one to read while I'm on vacation. We'll see if that happens. I don't know but this one is going to be my most intimidating read, mostly due to its size. So the last choice was between fave genre and friend pick, and technically all of these books are friend picks. So I'm just going to go with that one and pick the one that I really wanted to get on this TBR, and that was Praise by Sarah Kate. I really need just something fun, easy, an easy, fun, lighthearted, smutty read. So we're getting that on the TBR as well. And that's my TBR for Mid-Year Scramble. Three books will complete the entire path tree for Mid-Year Scramble. And that will get me halfway through my 12 friends recommend me 12 books because I've read three. If I read three more, I'll be halfway through. And it will be basically halfway through the year, a little bit before, but it'll be pretty close. So I feel like this is getting me on track to actually finishing that before the end of the year, which is exactly the point of this readathon. Are you participating in your scramble? Let me know what goal you're focusing on for, for the month of July. I would love to know what everyone is working towards for the month. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.